Now, the DILG has ordered the reactivation of border controls at the peripheral boundaries of Metro Manila and nearby provinces that is in preparation for the two-week ECQ, which will start on Friday. That's August 6th. Only APORs, or authorized persons outside residence, will be allowed to enter and exit NCR. But for Marikina Representative Stella Kimbo, it's not just an NCR travel bubble that's important for the economy to survive the lockdown. The lawmaker is proposing the creation of business bubbles where workplaces that are willing to test or vaccinate employees should be allowed to operate. Kimbo said fully vaccinated people should be allowed to report to work and go out to buy food so that businesses don't need to close down operations for two weeks. Otherwise, Kimbo said the implementation of another ECQ in the metro could lead to losses of about 18 billion pesos per day based on national income data. She added that there is no reason to execute the same exact lockdown measures as before now that widespread testing and vaccination have been added to the equation.